So your standard day tug has a lot of wasted space. So when you convert a tugboat to a liveaboard, the first thing you got to do is get rid of that bloody stack. Not to mention, you can't have dry exhaust over your hot tub. It's just simply not cool. So what we've done is we've converted the boat from a dry stack to a wet exhaust. We're only half done so you can actually see what both implements are and the difference between them. Because I couldn't find anything else on YouTube, so I'll put it on YouTube. This here's your standard dry exhaust. Hold on, let me this get closer. Is a, Hold on, okay. This is a 1710 Cummins V12, twin turbochargers, so two exhausts. So this one, we've simply undone the clamp, spun it, and taken the piece right here that fits it to the bottom of the muffler, and that's the through hull. And so here, this is where we've added our wet to the exhaust. Cool. And so, without further ado, aside from assembly, this is working exactly the way it's supposed to. This pipe is cold before it goes into the rubber. We've got six cylinders of exhaust coming out there. So it's hot here, and this is where it gets cold. And it's fitting and working like a charm. Nothing's getting hot here. And it's going right through to the wet muffler. And then out the side. with water, which reduces our carbon footprint, as well as making the air around the boat a little more breathable, or at least on the back deck, in theory. Uh, that's yet to be proven. You can see we still got one side is blowing dry exhaust, and the other one's coming out the side here, so. Success!